previous video we set the working directory if you want to check when you're creating something which working directory or folder it's going to go into if you just click open file it'll automatically go to the working directory you can actually change other change it to other folders should you want but the default one will always be the working directory very happy with that just click cancel as that's already set up now I'm going to do just a very simple shape and notice now we've now got the model ribbon is showing in this I'm going to click on the extrude button now I want to know where I'm going to put the extrude I've got a choice of the different datum planes so a virtual drawing places the planar surfaces now we're going to pick the, the top datum plane I click on that now I personally like to look straight at the sketch view when I'm working you can work in 3d should you want to if you don't want to do that just click on the sketch view button in the graphics toolbar it will move around to that particular view so I'm going to just quite simply do a center rectangle I've got some reference lines here which pass vertically and horizontally through the zero point in the graphic system this one obviously is representing Y zero and X zero so I'm going to click where they meet or where they cross point of intersection just left click on that move to get the size of rectangle or shape of rectangle that I want At this stage I'm not really going to worry about the size then I left click again to set that now I'm going to draw a circle in the middle so I go to the circle button in the sketch ribbon I'll do this on the center point that really could be anywhere single click to start the circle another click to stop it I then click the center wheel of the mouse you notice now the select arrow is highlighted in the in the ribbon it's filled in that area that is Creo one is set to automatically do that if you want to check whether it's going to work as an extrusion you quite simply click on feature requirement button in the ribbon it then checks things through you notice two green ticks if there was some problem you'd get a red cross instead so we can close that that we know is going to work we'll look at fault finding in a different video I click OK it's now turned to a solid I can see that by holding down control and tapping D I can adjust the height with the grab handle or I can put the size by double clicking on the height dimension in the graphics area or I can enter the height in the dashboard which is as you can see has actually replaced the ribbon so I can again put in a height there I just press the return or enter key to set it to that particular dimension once I'm happy with that I quite simply just click on the apply or accept green tick and that completes my shape hold down the mouse wheel and I can then rotate the shape to see what it looks like control D always a good idea to return it to the default position